As be on behalf of the 12 people given on the first slide, I, together with the two colleagues from Slovenia, who must shall be in the room too, Daya and Tomas Erjavic, uh, will present um, an overview of um, efforts and activities uh, focused on a relatively new type of language resource, a type of language resource which Tom Tomas Erjavic has already addressed in his talk uh, this morning, uh, namely Corpora of Computer-Mediated Communication. Uh, and interaction in social media, or briefly, CMC corpora. These are corpora which describe and make available the interactional language used, used found in internet-based communication technologies. For example, discourse, interaction found in chats, forums, tweets, social network sites, blog comments, Wikipedia, talk pages, instant messaging, WhatsApp, SMS, and so on. Um, the data which we have to deal with when creating such corpora are in several respects a bit nasty. Um, we call them the naughty stepchild of text, especially of text corpora, um, because of different reasons. One is the unclear legal status of CMC data, especially when it shall be republished in a corpus. It's still a gray area from a legal perspective under what conditions we may collect and redistribute, even annotate and edit data of the type, which is one of the main reasons why there are only few corpora available at the moment. Then we have no standards for data collection, particularly challenging uh, for data which belong to the private sphere, such as SMS, instant messaging, WhatsApp, but which are very important to find out how the young generation, the generation internet, is uh, handling this data, is using their language, that is interacting by means of social media. Then we have no standards for representing and annotating the structural and linguistic peculiarities of these data. There's no TI standard or any other established, acknowledged XML standard for representing, for example, the structure of a, a Twitter timeline, of a, of a chat, of a forum, of a blog comment section. We also don't have established uh, tools for natural language processing, which can be used off the shelf for automatic processing and annotation of this uh, type of data, since the established tools are usually or typically trained on um, uh, written data which is close to the written standard, for example, news corpora, um, <coughs> the precision of these tools if you are using them on, for example, chats or WhatsApp is uh, pretty um, weak. Um, and this is the reason why until two or three years ago, there were only very few resources available online and for the community and for the public to do empirical research on them. Um, this has changed, or this is changing in the past three uh, years. There's an increasing number of projects in several countries in the past years which have started addressing these issues with the goal to close the CMC gap in the corpus landscape and create CMC corpora which shall be made available as reference corpora for this special type of communication for future research. And this has opened a great window of opportunity to, to start into joint efforts in creating best practices and standards for this new type of corpora in a bottom-up approach. Um, initiated 2013 on an international workshop, there's an open bottom-up European network of CMC corpus projects which has started co-working on selected tasks, which I had on this slide, um, which are exchanging knowledge and practices, which are meeting for annual meetings, and which is a network which is still open and growing and ready to, for new colleagues to join in. Um, what I will do now is first give an overview, a very brief overview, of uh, ongoing activities in four uh, countries. The network includes researchers from more countries, but these are the four countries um, uh, where the authors of this talk come from, uh, ongoing activities, um, and then um, I report about activities which the network has set up um, and which are ongoing too in order to attract people's attention, to uh, encourage other people to join in and work with us. Um, since not all authors of this paper are here at the conference, um, I have put one slide with contact information before each national project so that you can uh, address the uh, people responsible um, directly. We will also have a poster and be present at the Clarine Bazaar later, so if you uh, need uh, contact information or anything else, don't hesitate to uh, get in touch. In France, we have a network called Comere, um, Communication Médiée par les Réseaux. Um, 
um, which consists or which originally consisted of 14 researchers from different research units who had already previously collected CMC corpora on a variety of CMC rores. These corpora weren't available. Um, the Comoré network had the goal to create um, a model which allows um, for a, a unified remodeling of these resources and then make these resources available in this new format, which is this TI format based on a customized TI schema um, via a handle which is available via Autolong. This fits very nicely to, uh, to the last talk. There you can see that Autolong has done important groundwork in making CMC Corpora available already. We have 14 Corpora for French, uh, for French available under this handle. The next step uh, in the project is part of speech tagging, and as my uh, colleague Thierry Chanier told me, there's already one of the corpora available with part of speech tags already. Mm. For Germany, um, I will briefly uh, report about a Clarine D curation project where I was one of the two heads, together with Angelika Storer and colleagues from the Institute for the German Language in Mannheim and from the Berlin-Brandenburg Academy of Sciences in Berlin. Uh, in this project, we integrated an existing one million uh, chat corpus for German into the corpus infrastructures at the Clarin D hubs in Mannheim and Berlin. Um, the corpus I'm talking about is the Dortmund Chat Corpus, which has been already online since 2005 and has been frequently used by a lot of researchers in research and teaching because it was the only available CMC corpus for German um, in order to make it sustainable and add um, additional value for researchers. Um, uh, we fortunately succeeded with, uh, with getting a curation project on this, which is already finished at the moment. Uh, in the project, the complete corpus has been remodeled on basis of a TI schema. Um, it has been enhanced with additional linguistic annotations as to an extent which is possible with the current state of NLP tools. Uh, I don't promise that it's perfect, um, but we uh, were in the uh, nice position that we could use an NLP tool chain which already had been adapted to chat and forum data by colleagues at the University of Saarbrücken. And in the project, we also uh, sought for clarification about republishing the resource as a part of the Clarin infrastructure through a legal opinion, um, uh, which was written by John Weizmann and colleagues from iRights in Berlin. Mm. The secondary goal of the project were, was to create a showcase which demonstrates what researchers can gain when CMC Corpora as part of corpus collections of, with corpora of several type can be analyzed in combination with other language resources, text and speech corpora. And secondly, um, the solutions developed in the project were uh, intended as um, good practice um, solutions, which should, should not only fit with the tasks of this project, but could be reused for further projects, uh, for further CMC corpora to be integrated into Clarion, which we will start into as of 2017. In Italy, um, we have several projects. You can find another project in our paper. I will only report briefly about the Didi project, which is located at the UREC Research in Bolzano. Didi stands for Digital Natives, Digital Immigrants. Um, one of the main researchers was Egon Stemmle. Um, in this project, um, the colleagues built a corpus of Facebook status updates, comments, and messages with a size of roughly 600,000 tokens in German and Italian, often in South Tyrolean dialect, uh, including social demographic information about the users. Um, the complete German part of the corpus has been manually normalized and anonymized, and the corpus is already accessible for querying via ANIS um, for research purposes um, via the EUREC website. Um, which is pretty, uh, what is really innovative about this project is that they have um, developed procedures for um, getting access to private data of the users on Facebook based on con explicit consent by the users. Um, this is a kind of data which is really valuable for everybody interested in how uh, uh, writing affects, uh, writing of adolescents uh, affects um, their writing uh, in everyday life. Uh, a further outcome of the project will be recommendations for collecting private non-public CMC data, which may, may be useful, will be useful for other projects in the field. Last but not least, we have the great project Janis by the colleagues um, from Slovenia, which has been uh, addressed in the talk uh, this morning already. 
headed by Daya Fischer, together with Tomasz Erjavitz, Nikolai Lubesic, and others. Uh, in Janis, um, the colleagues are building a corpus with Slovene tweets, forums, blogs, news, comments, and Wikipedia talk pages. It is not finished yet, but the present version has already been used in a number of linguistic analyses which have been published. Um, the corpus data are annotated on several levels, mainly on the word level and the text level, using on the one, uh, a combination of manually annotated text and machine learning methods. Just to give you an impression about the size of this corpus, uh, the first chart shows that the current version of Yanis already comprises more than 200 million word tokens, um, uh, this, uh, spread over several relevant CMC genres. Okay, these are four projects from four countries which are already building uh, uh, CMC Corpora. And as I stated before, it's a good window op of opportunity now, uh, as long as projects are not finished, to think about what could be quality criteria for state-of-the-art CMC Corpora, how could standards for this Corpora look like, and to lead this discussion not only on a theoretic uh, basis, but use the projects involved in a network as the test bed for implementing these standards and developing them further. And that's what we have started to do. Um, the vision or the joint vision of the network is to create CMC corpora which are available for the scientific community as open access, which are represented using open, non-proprietary and therefore sustainable encoding exchange and metadata formats, which are interoperable on the one hand with each other to allow for comparative analysis of CMC in different languages, as well as with corpora of other type, namely state-of-the-art text and speech corpora, through using acknowledged standards in the field of human, uh, digital humanities and making them available as part of or associated with well-acknowledged infrastructures such as Clarine or Autolong in the digital humanities. The corpora shall be annotated in order to allow for advanced linguistic queries and, as I already stated, not be published only as standalone resources but as part of existing infrastructures. Two activities have been a uh, uh, main focus of the network so far, but we are still already in the stage of addressing further um, tasks. One was um, a basic representation standard for CMC um, genres. Um, here we are um, closely working, um, cooperating with TI. Since 2013, we have a special interest group, computer-mediated communication in the text encoding initiative in which we are discussing models developed for representing CMC and TEI from the corp ongoing corpus projects up to now. Uh, in the SIG, we have a documentation of three customized TEI schemas for CMC, uh, which are all together with an ODD and an RNG schema available in the TEI uh, wiki so that they can be used by everybody, uh, other people. And there are already projects to, uh, which are using these schemas. The schemas relate to each other because usually one schema was the input for the next schema developed, for example, in the Comoré project. And then in the Clarine project in, in Germany, we were using the Comoré schema and developing it further. So it was a kind of um, really cooperative effort. And the next step on the roadmap will now be to uh, start into a uh, discussion to integrate models for CMC into the TI standard. We are planning to uh, submit a feature request by summer next year and then start into a closer discussion with the TI Technical Council in how far the standard could integrate um, models for this type of resource. Another activity which has turned out to be attracting a lot of people and a good medium for dissemination and further networking um, is a conference series uh, which we started in 2013 with a first international workshop in Dortmund and which meanwhile had four editions, two in Dortmund, one in Rennes in France last year, the latest edition uh, one month ago in Ljubljana. And the next edition, we know it since yesterday, will be next year in Bolzano at the Eurek Research. And just to give you an impression, the um, latest edition attracted or had 22 contributions by 40 researchers from 24 research institutions in 11 countries addressing CMC corpora in eight different languages and uh, the community is still growing and this is a very, very nice thing for what we would like to do, talk about quality criteria, create best practices and in the longer um, run standards for this type of resource. You find proceedings on the web. To conclude, there's still a lot of work to do. There's still a lot of open issues, but that, that's what makes it that interesting. Um, also from a linguistic perspective, 
And we have been asked by one reviewer of our paper, I mean, how far could Clarine contribute to your community, which is a, which is, which is, which is a good question. Uh, I'd just like to address two, point, two aspects. One is, of course, we would like uh, more people to um, join in the further discussion about what, how standards for CMC data could look like, especially uh, at the moment, um, engage in the discussion about uh, the AI schema for CMC Corpora. And of course, um, one really important thing is the legal situation. Linguists are all laymen when it comes to legal aspects. Um, in the Clarine uh, D project, we saw the legal opinion, we saw how difficult it is and what a, what, a, what, a, what a complex process it is with the lawyers to come to a legal opinion, which needs uh, work from the side of the corpus builders and from the lawyers. And it would be very interesting if Clarine probably could support the community with legal opinions or at least um, a best practice guideline on how to handle these type of data. So I think this could be something that will, would boost uh, uh, the movement uh, and make other people um, make their corpora available too. To, sum it, uh, to, to conclude, don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, we're at the bazaar. We will have a poster later and we'll be happy to discuss everything you might like to know on this with you. Thank you very much. Merci. So we have time for one or two questions. Thorsten Trippel, Klar in Germany. Um, I wonder um, about the relation of your data format, so that's the TEI data format, for example, to the DTA basis format, which is one of the recommended format by the German Research Foundation. Uh, I mean, I noticed that it, there's a lot of relations between these formats, but, well, if there's... Um, uh, um, well, and Axel Herold, who is one of the, the persons uh, working with you, is actually one of the experts in the DTA basis format. So, Okay, the schemas, um, which we, the, the latest schema that we de developed, TI schema, was in the context of the Clarin D project, where Axel Herold was, uh, was, one of, uh, was responsible for the baby AWE site. Um, the schema we were using in this project is compatible with the TI used in used for the um, DVDS Corpora at the BBRV in Berlin and with the E5 I5 schema used at the EDS. Um, I'm not sure about I'm not that deep into the DTI schema, but I think it must be compatible. But of course, this is um, something for the further process. So. Um, um, of course, it's important to also have it compatible with the more historic uh, resources, uh, especially when researching uh, new forms of writing, which always have a tradition. So um, we should check for this. Thank you. One short question. Ah, so I'm Lars Burien from the Swedish Clarion Consortium. So when, if you glance through the ACL anthology, you realize that there's a lot of interest mm -hmm. in these genres, but from a Different perspective because you say that you're in, you're you want to annotate for linguistic investigations, mm -hmm. whereas there it's a stance and argument and maybe uh, regional differences in opinions and things like that. Do you do you have what what's your relation to that body of work? Mm -hmm. There's, there's a lot of uh, work going on in the field of natural language processing, in adapting uh, tools to social media genres. There's been a lot of work on Twitter, for example. Uh, in Germany, I didn't report about this, in Germany we had a share community share task on uh, linguistic uh, processing, tokenization and part of speech taking of German CMC, which has been presented at the Webus Corpus workshop at ACL this year, the results. So, of course, this is, uh, there's a lot of work going on. The NLP, the whole NLP complex is something which the network will have to address or is already addressing and will put more effort in the future. I think we have connections into, very good connections into this field of research too. The colleagues in, in, in Ljubljana, for example, are working on this, as Tomas stated earlier. And we're happy that so much people are working on the tool side because always when you're building a corpus and don't have NLP people in the team, it's always good uh, to know that there are already tools which are better than the ones that you can get off the shelf and which haven't been adapted to the uh, uh, particularities of CMC so far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, but I was also thinking of the fact that they tend to address the content rather mm -hmm. than, than the form of particular linguistic items in, in the texts. Uh, so, so will your 
annotations scheme allow that kind of research also, which would widen it into beyond linguistics, mm -hmm. and which would be good for Clarin, for instance. Sure. The annotation schema which we are discussing in the TI context is a very basic annotation schema, which, which, uh, which um, is, a, is a schema about the main structural properties um, of, for example, uh, blog threads, uh, forum threads, Wikipedia talk pages, and things like that, and which is open for adding additional ad annotation layers. It will be very, I think the final uh, schema will be very simple, so that, uh, and tailored with have keeping in mind that many projects from many research uh, uh, areas can work with it and then add their. Um, individual layers, for example, on, on about tracking, sent, uh, describing sentiment, for example, or opinions or what, um, whatsoever. Thank you. We have time for our last question. Yeah. Uh, Tomasz Varody, Hungarian Clarin. Um, I have one small question of terminology. Uh, I admit I'm new to the term CMC, and my initial understanding was that it covers all sorts of uh, non-standard uh, texts you find and you associate with social media. But then uh, at the, on the last slide of your presentation, I saw the term CMC and social media text. So would you, would you yeah. please explain how these two terms relate um, to each other? These two terms come from different stages of the research history of uh, addressing um, um, issues of um, or questions about uh, how we interact with internet-based communication. The term CMC came up very early. I think it was the early 90s already uh, uh, when the first researchers, especially from social sciences, started to address uh, things like chats and forums and um, news group discussions. The, the term social media, uh, media came up later. It's not exactly the same, but in What's, what's today termed social media, a part of it has earlier been termed computer-mediated communication. That's why I had that definition on the first slide. Our focus is on interactional language use based on internet-based communication technologies. May, be, may they, in some research communities, be termed as interactions in social media or computer-mediated communications. We are not so interested in monologic text, which is already available on the internet and mediated via computers. Nevertheless, in some genres, we have to address them too, because for example, in blogs, we have the blog entry and then we have the comment section in Wikipedia, and there are already Wikipedia corpora, for example, at the Institute for the German Language in, in, in Germany. We have the article pages, and then we have the discussions, and there it's very important to also model the connections between the both. But okay, these terms are partially competing, partially overlapping. Thank you again, Miguel.